China. It's a, it's a hugely complex market, uh, but very uncorrelated with assets uh, that most people hold. And it's a country that is going to emerge from COVID. It's a country that is going to put its 22% youth employment back to work. It's an, it's, a, it's an economy that is going to continue to invest in EVs, semis, et cetera. And it is a, and it is a country that has declared that China 2025, made in China 2025, is a real thing. That was Mary Erdos, J.P. Morgan Asset and Wealth Management CEO, and why she's bullish for the long term on China. She made her case earlier on stage with me at the Delivering Alpha conference. Here now to join with her take is Afsane Bashlos. She's the founder and CEO of Rock Creek, also joining us from our Delivering Alpha conference. Afsane, thank you for joining us. It's good to see you. I think that you have a Great differing you, view. Sarah. It's good I to see you, too. I think you have a differing view on China. Explain. Absolutely. I think uh, the World Bank just downgraded China's growth rate to about 2.8 percent, down from 5 percent. The way I look at China is that we had this incredible growth rate the last 10, 20 years, and that just cannot go on forever. So even without all the things that have been going, uh, that we have been seeing in China politically, geopolitically, economically, and in the tech sector, you would have seen growth rates come down, number one. Number two, um, they may not stay at 2.8 percent, but they might be somewhere between 2 and, let's say, 4 percent versus 4 and 6, 7 percent. Number two, the demographics of China is such that actually people are having fewer kids, and so the population is dwindling. Obviously, they'll use AI, they'll use robots, they'll use all the other tools, but the number of people um, in China is coming down, which affects both their labor force and the wages of the labor force. Export has been very healthy this year, but given all the, all the geopolitics that we're all very much aware of and other countries becoming more nationalistic in terms of made in the U.S. or made in Europe, likely that that will impact uh, China's exports. You are absolutely right in terms of what uh, Mary just said about um, local markets. Their local market will mm -hmm. continue to grow, but I think it will be impacted by exports. So where in the world do you go? Do you chase returns that could be potentially better overseas at this point, given the underperformance, or stay in the U.S.? So the, the countries that are benefiting from what's going on in China are the ASEAN countries. In fact, a lot of Chinese companies are moving, let's say, to Vietnam and building their new plants in Vietnam. Uh, you also have around Vietnam, you have countries like Malaysia, Indonesia that are very resource rich and have a fairly sophisticated labor force. And then, of course, we should really talk about India because India is one country where you're having the exact opposite of what's happening in China. What you're having is Modi, their leader, and their business community are all very aligned on going very big on the green economy and really investing a lot on both sides in the renewable area. Why does that matter? Because a lot of things that may not come to the U.S. from China, let's say, on solar panels, etc., might start coming in from India in a few years. And last but not least, I would venture to say, just like you had the big outsourcing that we saw with Infosys and others from India yeah. into the rest of the world, you might see that with the green economy. I, I, so you're there at Delivering Alpha to speak on a panel that's, that's called The Next Big Thing. And, and I have a feeling yes. for you that might be in climate tech or climate investing. Is that, is that what you're focused on? Absolutely. And I think we see the prices of uh, solar, wind, other technologies have come down a lot. And also with the Inflation Act in the U.S., you have the wind uh, on your back when it comes to climate yeah. smart investments. Plus, you have the new generation that's buying the, the goods, whether it is, uh, whether it is re retrofitting your house, whether it is where you're going to work or what kind of car you drive.